Hi everyone, in this video we are going to look at how to make components in Adobe XD. Uh, let me quickly show you what they do. I can adjust this one called the main component and all of his buddies over here, watch. Oh, they're all connected, so you can do one thing once, okay, and they all come along for the ride. It means you can work on lots of different artboards, perfect for this top nav, adjust one, and they all flow along and adjust as well. That is basically what a component does. Let me show you how to make one. All right, let's make a component. Uh, first of all, let's clear out all the components you've got. Um, so let's go to our assets panel and you might have character styles twirled down. Um, I want you to kind of just click the chevron to tidy it up. And under components, you might have a bunch of junk already. Um, if you copy and paste, we kind of did this earlier in the course. Remember I said, if you copy and paste stuff, it might bring through these um, components in here and we just ungrouped them and kind of moved on. Now we're actually gonna understand properly what they are. And if you've got stuff in there already, it just means you've copied and pasted them from other documents. So delete those out, okay? You just right click them and delete them or select them and hit delete on your keyboard. Clear out the components. If your view looks different from mine, I've been on list view this whole um, course. You might go through some character styles. You can go to, um, you might be, you might have been on this view and it looked very different from mine. Okay, I like to be on list view for some reason. Up to you, but I'm gonna be on list view. Uh, makes it easier to rename them. So let's uh, understand components by making one. Select all of this top nav. I'm doing it on this other page. It doesn't matter what you turn into a component. Okay, so I'm gonna select all of these little things here and you can either right click them and say make component, use the shortcut, command K or control K on a PC. It's a really common thing. So it's got a really common shortcut. Um, and under object, same saying, where is it? There it is there. Okay, make component. Okay, how do I know? If I undo it, can you see it's got this blue border? And I have, if I hit my Command K or Control K on a PC, it goes green. That's why I know it's a component. That's one of the cues, visual cues. And it appeared in my components library. It appears in your layers as well. You can see it there, component. Okay, so it appears a few different ways. So let's rename it. Um, it's much easier to do when you're on list view. Okay, this little option up here, and you just double click the word, and we're gonna call this top nav. Okay, you can leave it as component one. There's nothing wrong with it, except you'll be judged by other designers at your sloppy layer naming. Okay, but if I'm honest, and we're all honest, everyone's got component 57 in their list. But for today, we are lovely named top nav. So what's so useful about components? Um, let me show you, I've got this one, I'm gonna copy it and I'm gonna paste it onto this one and maybe paste it onto this one as well. Okay, the difference between uh, this first one, first of all, is can you see he's called the main component or our first one or the parent or the primary, the technical word is the main component. What's the difference between him and this one? is the visual differences. Can you see the, um, the thick green diamond and see this guy? Oh, he's got an empty diamond. So this is the main one. This is called the instance. Okay, so you are the boss. You follow along what the boss is. Okay, parent child. So what's cool about it is that I can grab this first one and I'm gonna zoom out so we can see all three. I can go into it. Remember how I go inside of these things? I can double click it. There we go. And grab this and watch this and go, whoop, whoop, whoop. Can you see them all moving? Hey. Cool, huh? That's the reason that uh, components are really good, is that you can do one thing, it can go across a hundred different artboards, and you can control it just by updating the main um, component. There you go. What a lot of people will do is they'll keep the main over here on the pasteboard or on another artboard, just something out of the actual flow, and keep all their kind of uh, main components together, and then they'll copy and paste the instance. Okay, if you copy uh, you know, another instance from these guys, it'll just keep making duplicates of this main one. Okay, it just means that, that you're not trying to figure out where the heck the main one was, <laughs> which artboard you created it on. You've got a kind of like a central place. And it means up here, you can say, actually, I want to get this um, moved over. Ooh, look at that. Cool, huh? All right, that's how you make a component. Uh, you, it can be a bit of a pain sometimes if you want to get detach it. Okay, you can just right click and say, you are ungroup component. Okay, and it'll just kind of break it apart now. Now, when I adjust this, okay, that guy is like, he's his own boss again. He's a lone ranger, he can do whatever he wants. Okay, so that is how to make a component. All right, I've come back from the future uh, later in the course, and I'm like, hey, I should probably mention that earlier. So I'm gonna show you one little thing about components is that if I draw, we, we draw a toggle switch later in the course, and this is kind of where I'm like, hey, I should probably go tell them. Uh, so we make this like little toggle switch. It's a rectangle, rounded corners, uh, you know, and you click it and it kind of moves over here. It's gonna be fun, stay tuned. Uh, but f what happens is, let's say I've got uh, this, I'm gonna give them a color, any old color. Okay, 
if I select both of them and I hold shift, okay, and scale it, it scales nicely. Okay, if I make a duplicate though, oh, make a duplicate, and I group it and I scale it, it works perfectly. But if I make it a component and do the exact same thing, boop, boop, boop. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what ends up happening is it applies this thing called responsive design and it tries to be all very clever. Because it is clever when you do this, watch. Yep. So that's really cool when you're making a button, you want to make it longer. But when you want to resize something, and you're like, I just want to make it smaller, it can, doesn't always, uh, cause you trouble. So what you can do is just turn off responsive resize and then work your magic. Okay, it's just not going to do that whole thing like we did before, it just extended on its own. You can turn it on and off though, watch this. I can make it really small. Turn that back on and do that fancy thing. Okay, so yeah, that is a word from future Dan. Oh, let me show you what we make. I was kind of hiding down here. I was like, let's show you. Oh, look at this toggle switch. Oh, look how far we've got. <laughs> it's later in the course. Okay, so stick around. Look at this toggle switch. Oh, look at that. Okay, it's in the micro interactions bit in the course. So yeah. Um, that is Future Dan coming back to help you with responsive resizing. Um, right now, though, we'll get back to the component creating. Uh, there's more to yeah, more to show you in the next video. I'll see you there. P.S. Don't tell the next version of Dan in the next video that I was here. All right, deal. All right, carry on. Hi there, my name is Dan Scott. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like. Uh, subscribe to the channel, and if you want to go further with Adobe XD, there is, I have a full course, there'll be a link in the description, it's called Adobe XD Essentials, there'll be a card up here you can click as well, uh, but yeah, carry on with your day, enjoy, and I might see you in the full course.